What's up guys? Justin here with the RealtimeEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to walk through how to use MetaHuman Creator to create custom characters that you can then bring into Unreal Engine. So we're going to talk about how and where to go to set up your character. We're going to talk about how to download them and how to export them into Unreal Engine so that you can use them in your Unreal scenes. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, you can access MetaHuman Creator by going to the Unreal Engine website and under their products, there's an option for MetaHuman Creator. You can also just Google MetaHuman Creator and click on the first link that shows up. But to access the tool, you just scroll down just a little bit and there's an option here for launch the app. And so when you click on the button for launching the app, it's gonna open up MetaHuman Creator. So there's other useful stuff on this page as well. So there's an overview. They talk about some of the key features. They talk about some of the free um, MetaHumans that you can download that are fully rigged. They've made a number of characters available 100% free that you could download through Bridge, as well as they've made some lighting presets available as well. So you can find out more about those here. There's also some tutorials in here talking about how to use the different settings. But for now, um, when you click on the button for um, launch the app, what that's going to do is that's going to launch a page like this. And so the first thing you might notice is depending on your internet connection, um, this might look a little bit different. So it might be higher or lower resolution. The reason for that is because this is a cloud-based app. It's literally like streaming the app over your network connection like this. And so for people like me with a slow network connection, um, your result can kind of vary. Like right here, mine jumped into bad, but it'll jump back into good in a second. But um, what this allows you to do is this allows you to either create a metahuman or you can access older metahumans that you've already created, right? So I've got a few that I've kind of played around with in here, um, but you can also click on the button for create metahuman right here to create your own. And so when you select a metahuman, so you can pick any of the ones on the list as a starting point, and then you click on the next button right here. What that's going to do is that's going to give you access for all of the different things. Um, that's going to give you a that's going to give you the ability to edit pretty much all of the things having to do with the way that this person looks. So, for example, let's say that we were to jump in the skin section right here. So you can adjust, and it's going to want you to stop the animation before you do this, but you can adjust things like the skin texture right here using a slider. You can also adjust the contrast of the skin. You can adjust the roughness of the skin and the color of the skin. So see how you can use this in order to really kind of do whatever you want from a skin standpoint on these characters. There's other things in here like freckles and accents that you can add as well. We're gonna leave those alone for right now, but you can adjust things like eye color. So, and not only can you adjust the eye color like this, you can also um, get even more in depth adjusting like the way that the iris looks and other things like that. So it's very detailed. And what I really like about this is it really gives you the ability um, to customize everything without having to be like a crazy character artist or anything. Like these are literally just sliders that you adjust in here and you can see the results in real time. And real quick, let's take a look at this. Um, let's take a look at this workspace right here. Notice how you can adjust um, your cameras. So by tapping one, two, three, four, five, and six, you can jump between the different camera locations in here. So you can right click and drag in order to orbit around. Um, you can pan using the middle mouse button. And then if you just right click, it's going to focus on different parts of your character's face. And so then down below, there's different things that you can do with the hair. So if you click on this, there's gonna be different hairstyles that you can bring in. Notice that the hairstyles take a little bit longer to load in here, which makes sense because it's basically, uh, it's basically loading in and simulating the hair on this person. And the hair is actually really realistic. Like if you zoom in on this, um, you can see that it's very detailed hair. And again, you don't have to do anything crazy to set it up. You literally just click on the options right here. And then you can do things like adjusting the roughness of the hair, um, which is gonna affect how much uh, light reflects off of it, as well as things like the color, and you can affect if there's any gray in the hair as well. So then down below, if you wanted to, you can add a bunch of different things, but you can add like a mustache or a beard. And so again, just note the level of realism that's contained inside of this character. So then there's other things in here having to do with like the body. So you can adjust the proportions of the body. You can adjust weight. So if I toggle to the body camera right here, notice how each one of these is gonna give you a different look for your character, like this.
and you have male and female options. You can also adjust the scale of the head because sometimes the head can look a little bit big on the body. So you can use this in order to quickly adjust that um, in order to get a final result. One other thing to note about this is there is an option And so one interesting thing that you can do is you can actually blend between different models that are in here. So for example, you could take three characters, right? And drag them in here. So we'll say that one, this one, and this one. And what that's going to do is that's going to blend together the different characteristics of the characters. So you can see how the facial structure changed slightly, the eye color changed a little bit. So you can use this to blend between characters, which is a really interesting feature. You can also click on the options for the move or sculpt functions right here. And what those are going to do is those are going to allow you to adjust different parts of the face, right? So notice how I can use this to adjust the character's cheekbones and chin, which is going to adjust the overall face length. You can adjust the nose, other things like that. So this actually gives you a fair amount of control over this character's face. And again, it does it in a way where um, you really feel like you have a whole lot of control without having to be like a master sculptor or anything like that. All right, and then notice in the upper right hand corner, there's a little there's a little uh, notification that says all changes saved. What that means is that means that now this character is gonna show up inside of your uh, My MetaHumans collection. So if you click on that button right there for My MetaHumans, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take you back to the menu right here and you can see how your different characters that you've created are in this list. So you can access those characters just by clicking on this and then clicking on the edit selected button right here. All right, so now let's talk about how to get these characters into Unreal Engine. So what we're going to do is you need to have Quixel Bridge installed on your computer. So if you don't have Bridge installed, you can get that by going to quixel.com slash bridge. So that's basically the, uh, the mega scans and MetaHumans management software that works on your computer. And so if you open up Quixel Bridge, make sure that you've locked, logged in. Notice how your different characters are available for download. So you can click on these and click on the download button. Now I'm not going to do that again just due to internet speed. I've already pre-downloaded this character right here. But notice when you download this character, and I'm going to go ahead and click on him, you can either edit him by clicking on the Start MetaHuman Creator button, or there's a button right here for export. And so what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to export this to Unreal Engine. There's a couple things you need to set up before you do this. So you need to be in the export settings right here. And so notice in the export settings, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to set an export target, which in this case is Unreal Engine right here. Um, you want to set the engine version that you're going to be using. And then you need to set your plugin location to the plugins folder inside of your Unreal Engine install directory. So in this case, this has already been installed. So what we can do is we can just export this. And I'm not going to worry too much about the default project for right now. But what I want to do, and so the first thing you need to do when you try to export this is you need to have Unreal Engine running. So I'm going to open up Unreal Engine. All right, so now I have an Unreal Engine 4.27 project open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this character, I'm going to click on the button for export. And so because I have the plugin set up properly, this is going to export this to Unreal Engine and it's going to drop it into the project that I'm working on. And that can take a little while, so um, you may just want to let this work for a bit. All right, and so when you first do this, you're going to get these error message. So this is, uh, I've done this several times now and you get the error message pretty much every time. I think you do this in a new project. Um, so what you wanna do is all you have to do is just click on the button for enable missing. And so you wanna enable these project settings, you wanna enable these missing plugins, and you wanna enable your missing plugins and project settings right here. Then you need to, uh, then you need to restart Unreal Engine. There's a button right here that'll do that for you. All right, so now, Notice how if you open up this folder right here, um, it adds a folder for MetaHumans. And notice how you're gonna have two folders in here. You're gonna have a common folder, which is gonna contain a bunch of common stuff 
in here, and you're gonna have a character specific folder for your character right here. And so notice how that folder has um, different uh, different folders for different things, right? So it has face information with different uh, LODs and different masks and different materials. Those are all contained in here, as well as other mesh information. But what you wanna focus on is you wanna focus on this blueprint class right here. So you don't wanna double click on this. I mean, I guess you can double click on this and you can open up the blueprint. And so within the blueprint, you can see things like how it's getting the materials for the face, other things like like that you don't really need to do anything with this but if you are interested in how some of these settings are being applied right here you can open that up in blueprint what you want to do though is you don't want to open up the blueprint you want to click and drag this character into your viewport right here so when I do that and it's gonna take a second to compile some shaders but when you do that then you're gonna be able to see your character inside of your scene so this full character has been brought in. All right, so now, once your shaders have compiled, you can actually zoom in here and look at this character. And notice how this character is brought in with a very high level of detail. So your hair is brought in, and the hair looks really good in the scene. Um, any facial hair that you have in here, as well as any like skin blemishes or anything like that. Notice how the mapping on this is really good. Like the light that's coming off of the face, it's even like reflecting off of the pores in a realistic way. So it really does a great great job of giving you this realistic character and we didn't have to do a ton of work in order to create this. So notice how too even like the clothes on the character are very detailed and they look really good too. And so one cool thing to note about this is this has LODs built in. So what that means is that means when you zoom out, so you might notice, for example, if I zoom out to about like here, the hair stops showing up on this character. So the reason for that is because it's loading in a lower level of detail the further away from your object the camera is. And so you can actually kind of see that by jumping into the lit um, or the view mode, going to level of detail colorization and clicking on the mesh LOD coloration. And so when you do that, notice how that's gonna change colors. That's basically showing you that at a certain point, a different level of detail is being loaded in. So you can see as your camera gets further and further away, the levels of detail get lower and lower and lower. It's something that you probably wouldn't notice if you were just in the typical lit mode. So you probably can't see it, but it's something that's happening automatically inside of your scenes. All right, so in addition, if you go in the common files right here, in, um, inside the common folder, there is a MetaHuman control rig in here. I have not been able to figure out how to apply the MetaHuman control rig to a custom character like this. Um, so that's something I need to do a little bit more research on. I'd love to get it in this video, but it just seems to get like skip, skipped over in all of the Unreal Engine videos. That may just be my lack of knowledge here, but I'll look into it a little bit more in the future and maybe do like a follow-up video or something like that. But overall, this does give you access to the metahumans that you've created inside of Unreal Engine. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you've tried metahuman, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.